Hello friends this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining interview point this is the continuation of my previous video if you have not watched my previous video then please watch that video first so as you can see this table is not looking good so let's beautify this i want to make changes so our table will look like this and will add a new button here okay so uh, open a new terminal and i want to use bootstrap so uh, here I need to install bootstrap so use the command npm install bootstrap so I am installing it on globally in my angular application so it is installed so bootstrap is installed successfully now what I need to do I need to import or I need to use it in uh, globally so what I will do I will use this in style.css file so let's import this uh, open this node underscore modules folder and here such uh, bootstrap in this folder uh, uh, expand this dict dist and then css expand this right click on the bootstrap.min.cs and then copy relative path and then here style.css you need to import this so at the rate import and url you need to provide in the single inverted comma and paste your url and make changes so remove the path and start from bootstrap and also this change the forward slash okay so now save the changes and then open your browser so before refreshing i need to make the changes in, into the table so here it is the bootstrap table so you can take any example from here so that you can uh, design your table so i'm just copying this and i will use this uh, in my table so in here table i want to use this class as table and in the th i will uh, paste the table dot okay so you can copy from the bootstrap and you can use so now our table is looking like this so guys uh, let's um, add some button here in this table so let's try to change the so i will change uh, some of the uh, i will use this table list stripped class so let's do the changes now our ui is looking like this so now let's add a button here so in the table header i need to use action so it will look like as an action and then inside the row i will add in every row button so button name will be like uh, we can use view or in our case uh, let's uh, give the button name as uh, edit i'm not going to use a view so let's edit and see the on the browser you can see a button is added successfully so guys this is all if you need a continuation of this video please ping me also friends don't forget to provide the feedback we'll see you in the next video bye bye and take care